I just wanted to make a quick video today because I need to make a public apology. I need to apologize to the main dev of Instant OS and Instant Window Manager because I reviewed Instant OS on the channel a couple of weeks ago and the video I did was quite negative. In fact, it was extremely negative. It was a completely unfair look at Instant OS because I completely just trashed the project. And the reasons behind that are, for one thing, Instant OS and Instant Window Manager are not really geared for somebody like me. So it's a beta quality tiling window manager. So it's beta software. But its signature feature is it has these weird animations. You know, it's got some whiz bang animations that happen when you launch windows and close windows and things like that. And that's not really for somebody like me. You know, it's probably geared more toward new to tiling window manager users. It's probably trying to lure those people away from fancy desktop environments like GNOME or KDE Plasma or something like that. It's trying to lure them into the tiling window manager world. Uh, for those of us that are used to tiling window managers, Instant Window Manager probably doesn't provide you anything because you probably don't want all the whiz bang effects. And also, Instant Window Manager didn't have a proper config file. You can't really edit it. I mean, the point of a tiling window manager, of course, is to configure your own window manager. But, you know, just because it's not software really geared for somebody like me, I can still review it in an impartial way. I review things all the time on this channel that I would never use in real life, and I can be fair to these projects. But what made this particularly bad for Instant OS and Instant Window Manager was I took a look at it in a VM, and the VM that I ran it in was Vert Manager. The graphics drivers in Vert Manager did not want to work well with Instant OS and Instant Window Manager. Windows took light years to open and close. It was excruciatingly slow. The keyboard was slow. Key presses were registering seconds later, or sometimes key presses weren't registering at all. And it was just painful to use this thing. It made me physically angry <laughs> because of how slow that particular VM was. And then you compound it on you know, the fact that it's not really a project or you know a window manager I would normally use in real life anyway. And that video was just completely unfair. And the dev for Instant OS did make a response video. And his name is Paper Benny. And he did this response to DistroTube here where he goes over every critique I had in my video and how he has addressed that problem in the latest beta. He just released a new beta and he has fixed most of the criticisms that I had in my video. Of course, the big one is the VM problem and that really is just on me. You know, I should have, you know, when I realized it was that slow in Vert Manager, I should have just installed it in VirtualBox because it probably would have ran perfectly in VirtualBox or a, a, on a test machine on, on my laptop or something. But, you know, I just assumed it was probably that slow on everything. And, and, you know, I shouldn't have made that assumption because you know what assuming does. So if I pull up Instant OS, the latest beta that was just released here, this time in VirtualBox. And let me see if I can log in here. Look what happens now. This was not here a couple of weeks ago. Now the virtual machine asks, hey, would you like us to switch to a 1080p screen resolution? So the dev added this because I had to manually, you know, set this with XRender. But now the machine resizes and it resizes the wallpaper and it resizes everything perfectly. Uh, the performance here inside VirtualBox, of course, you know, the animations opening and closing work now. And let's see if I can change the layout, show you some of the animations when the windows go to the side. You know, it's it, it runs just fine. Yeah, it's not horribly slow or anything. It's actually kind of peppy for what it's doing graphically. The other really big criticism I had is the terminal emulator because, you know, Super Enter brings up a terminal. I do most of my stuff at the terminal and I, I had a real problem with that terminal. I thought it was URXVT. I tried to configure it. I never could get it to configure. And, you know, I couldn't figure out some of the default key bindings for zooming in and zooming out and things like that. And the problem was their default terminal is not URXVT. This is actually ST. Why did I think it was URXVT? Well, when you go into their uh, menu system, let's see if I can click on something. And, you know, if you do a search for ST, you know, ST is actually not anywhere here. 
Do you guys see ST? I don't. <laughs> I, when I searched for terminals, I saw URXVT and Xterm, and I just assumed it's got to be URXVT. It's got some transparency to it, and so uh, Xterm doesn't really have a true transparency. So your default terminal is ST. Why is it not in your menu? So that's one thing the devs probably want uh, to address. If I just do a search for term, maybe it's, no, it's still not here. So ST is not in that main menu there. But I'm not going to spend too much time here with Instant OS today. What I want you guys to go do is I want you to go check out this uh, this video here. He spent about 15 minutes demonstrating to you guys everything about Instant OS and Instant Window Manager, how it runs on proper equipment. And, uh, you know, again, he addresses all the problems that I had, and most of them have been fixed in this latest beta. So, guys, go check out Paper Benny and this video. I'm going to link to it in the show description. And, again, I just want to publicly apologize to Paper Benny and all, all the people that work on Instant OS and Instant Window Manager. I know better <laughs> than to do what I did the other day. And once the world gets back to normal, if our paths ever cross, Paper Benny, I owe you a beer. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy UK, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you see on the screen. This is all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel has no corporate sponsors. This channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, you'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace.